What's going on guys, it's Mr. Creator here and today I'm going to be showing you how to install ByteBurst on your Mac OS computer. So this is going to be a very straightforward tutorial as long as you follow every step and you enable every permission and your libraries are correct, then this tool will work no problem. But right now, um, this is just the early development stages of this tool. So I'm also learning as I'm developing the tool, but this is how to install the tool. So let's get straight into it. First, you have to have a Mac running Catalina or newer. Next, open up your browser, go to my website, euphoriatools.com. Once you go to the main page, well, however it looks, it might look different, but now this is where you're gonna look for. You're gonna look for the downloads page. So just go to that, and then you're gonna look for Byte Burst. So here's Byte Burst. It, it is an iOS 15 to 16.5 untethered iCloud bypass tool for cellular checkmate devices. So click visit this page. Once you visit the page, you'll see some information about how this tool works and all that. Very cool, very cool. So what does your device do? It's going to be unlocked. It's going to be untethered so you can restart it and it won't be relocked after you turn it back on. You can sign into your iCloud account so you can use iCloud services. Um, you can also sign into the App Store. Most devices get notifications. Some devices can sign into iMessage. Some can sign into also FaceTime and Signal is not working. You might be confused. This is a, a cellular checkmate bypass, right? No, this is a cellular compatible. So if you have a cellular checkmate device, it will be compatible with this $5 unlock, um, but you will not get signal for that price. Uh, if in the future I make some sort of tool with signal, it's not going to be $5, it's gonna be definitely more. Um, so this does not enable signal, but most other services will work for you and you will be able to use the device. Here's also a list of all the supported devices. Um, the only thing I wanna mention right now at the time of recording this video is iOS 16 has issues for the iPhone X. Hopefully I'm gonna, uh, hopefully I'm gonna fix that soon. Next, we're gonna to go to how to register. This is how you register. Select one coffee, type in your Twitter handle, type in your iOS device serial number. Then you can make the message private if you want. This is up to you. And then after that, click support. After that, registration may take 12 to 24 hours. You can tweet Mr. Creator that you have registered to speed it up. Um, so then, yeah, what you're gonna do is click register. It's gonna open this page, select one, type in your Twitter, type in your iOS device serial number, and you can see all the people here that have registered. So, and yeah, so if you wanna make your message private, you don't want people seeing your information or anything like that, or the message that you send me, you can make the message private. And then here's going to be a little preview of the tool. And here it is. So you're gonna click download. You're gonna to go to the page. It's gonna take you here. And you're just gonna download it and whatever. I already have it downloaded, so that's why it looks like this. Um, so I'm gonna go back here. And after you have downloaded it, what you want to do, okay, I guess I don't have it. Let me take it out the trash. So this is the one, I'm gonna put it back. But after you downloaded it, like I just did, let's try that again. That's the one. Okay, there we go. So once you have the file downloaded, open it up. And then you're going to see it here. Open this. You will see this right here, the Bypers application. Do not open it. You just want to copy it or move it. You can copy or move. So go to applications. And here is where you want to paste it. Paste the item. Boom. We have Bypers right here. So you might get this message. Bypers cannot be open because Apple cannot check for malicious software. Click OK, super easy fix. You're going to two finger click, get info. And then after that, you should see um, an option here that might say, don't check for malware. You're just gonna click on that. But if you don't see that option like me right here, what you're going to do is go back over here, go to the readme file, and then get this command right here. Copy this command, open up terminal, paste, enter, type in your password, enter, and that's it. Now if we go back to applications and try to open it, we can open the program. Now if you have an issue, 
where your program looks like this, I'm going to show you in just a second. If you're using light mode and you open the program, the program is not going to load because it is forcing in dark mode. So how do you fix this? Just switch to dark. As you can see, if you switch from light to dark, it fixes it. So make sure you're using dark mode. That's another thing I have to mention. Next, close the program. Um, after that, just type in iDeviceInfo and you should see no device found. If you do not see that and it says command not found, please open up the folder that you downloaded. Type in here sudo chmod plus x and drag and drop this file. After you drag and drop this file, hit enter. You might have to type in your password. And then after that, you just drag it and drop it into here. And then it's going to ask you for your password. I already typed in the password, so it already pops up. Then you're going to take about maybe 20 to 30 minutes, maybe even an hour to install. So this might take some time to install. You're going to hit enter and it's going to install Xcode. You might see a pop up. Make sure you install all of this. Make sure you do that. So as you can see, it's installing, installing. I already have it installed. So it's like asking me if I want to reinstall, but I'm going to cancel this because this is going to take some time. Make sure you install this. If everything looks good, like warning, that's fine. But if you see anything that's red and it says error, send me a tweet on Twitter or something like that. And then, or go on Reddit and figure out maybe if anyone posted on the forum how to fix that. But this is the main issue. Make sure you have iDevice info working. If you have iDevice info working and you type in which iDevice info, It should show you like this. All right, great. So that's all we need to really do there. Um, and yeah, so let's go and close this now. And now all you have to do is take this Byte Burst Extras folder, drag it onto your desktop. After you did that, you want to run this file, run me fixes permissions, drag and drop, hit enter. I'm gonna move this terminal so you can see better. And then it's gonna tell you to make sure you drag the app into the folder and then make sure you put this folder on your desktop and then hit enter. That's it. That's all you have to do. Okay. Fixing permissions and done. So you can see it ran all of this stuff. That should be fine. And now remember Mac OS Monterey or below. This is how you enable full disk access. Venture and above. Make sure you also enable full disk access. So let's close this. And this is another step you have to make sure. This is because of Apple security and I don't know how to bypass it, but this is what we have to do. Go to security and privacy and then go to full disk access. Then click on the lock, type in your password, unlock it. After that, you wanna go and add just for safe measure and then look for your byte burst application. So there's mine, open it up. And now Vipers has full disk access. We can close this. Let's check this. As we can see, Vipers in files and folders has full disk access. That is perfect. That is all we need to do. And now the tool should be fine. Open it up. And just like that, we have it working. So let's click that. Let me connect one of my devices just to show. This is a Wi-Fi iPad. It's not supported, but I'm just going to show you just for just for demonstration purposes that it is detecting the device. If it is connected and it's not detecting, make sure the device is unlocked and turned on. You might have to tap trust this computer to pair it, and then after that it should be fine. Let me disconnect that device. The iPad looks like it's dead. Okay. Let's try that again. All right, there we go. I tapped trust and now it detects my iPhone and there you go. So because it's activated, this is not going to work. But if your device is unactivated, these options will work. And then after it detects, it will generate the ticket for you. So this is how you install uh, Byte Burst. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I might have to probably 
you know, eventually make another updated version and another updated version. But this is the tutorial for 1.6. Hopefully in the future there's going to be a lot less steps to do. But this is how you get it working. And make sure you just have your libraries installed. As long as your libraries are installed, everything should work just fine. See, iDevice info pops it up. Activated iDevice state activation state. And there you go. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.